Hey, what's up guys? My name is Danny. Welcome back with another beautiful video. In this video, I have another two weeks to share it with you guys. With that being said, let's get started. Time Mover. This is really nice and cool to you to set it on your iDevice. And what is that week is going to be providing you with? It's going to be allow you resize the uh, last screen clock on your iDevice. And I'm going to be showing you guys and explain about that week under the settings okay so under the settings the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and then after that you can go through most things that we have here under the settings for example you can enable for editing mode and you can uh, find uh, tune mode here and some other stuff that you can customize using this tweak right there and then here as you guys can see so you can uh, keep default uh, that lock screen time on center or you can just customize that using the right to left and then you can set that using the other position as the way that you like so you can switch in between the position one two three and then you can save that position one thing to just i want to mention about it and told you guys about it you need to make sure when you download the tweak that uh, tweak is going to be only allow you to resize the lock screen clock if you use the tweak on at least uh, iphone 6s or 6s plus you need to make sure you have the 3d touch enable on your iDevice in order to resize reposition the lock screen time on your iDevice there you go guys time over okay let me talk in right now about another cool tweak which is going to be the browser changer 10 and what is that tweak is going to be providing you with you can open url any url using your iDevice and uh, you can open that and switch that from uh, website to another website the way you like and I'm gonna be showing you guys right now how does that work under the settings okay so under the settings see the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and then after that you can open the links on so you can choose here from the Google Chrome and then you have the Mozilla Firefox and then you have other website as you guys can see so you can pick the one for me i just picked the uh, google chrome here if i want to get back this is the only option that you can configure using the settings here let me just go back right now showing you guys if i want to launch my safari browser look at what is going to be happen it's going to be asking me with a pop-up message if you want to open your current page on your chrome as you guys can see so if i tap on open it's going to be a switch from safari all the way to google chrome so simply after i tap on open as you guys can see i already opened the uh, the apple website on my chrome or google uh, using that tweak right there it's a really beautiful and nice tweak to set it on your iDevice highly recommend you guys to give it a try really nice and beautiful to set it on your iDevice browser changer 10 the next cool tweak that I'm going to be talking with you guys about which is going to be the NC tab color and what is that tweak is going to be providing you with you can it's going to be allow you to colorize the notification center color tab and i'm going to be showing you guys under the settings how you can configure that okay so under the settings here it's really simple the only thing that you need to do to enable the tweak this is first and then the second thing as you guys can see here you can pick the color that you want to colorize your notification center tab so simply if you just stop here and then you want to change that color so you can set the color from here and then after that all what you need to do to, to just respring your device so your device will be picked the effect so after you respring your device after you opening your notification center your tab will be different color the color that you're going to be set on your iDevice so this is pretty much what the tweak is going to be providing you with really nice and cool tweak if you want to set it on your iDevice notification tab color the next cool tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is gonna be the wall rounded. And what is that tweak? I think the name it just explained himself. What is that tweak is gonna be do? Let me just go right now to my switcher. As you guys can see right now, this is what is that tweak is gonna be providing you with. It's gonna be make the rounded corners or shape on your uh, pages. As you guys can see right now, how is it looks like? And it's really a nice if you want to set it on your iDevice really beautiful tweak if you want to set it on your iDevice and as I told you guys the name of the tweak is going to be well rounded 
And next what I have for you guys which is going to be advanced status time. What is that? Because it's going to be providing you with. It's going to be allow you to customize the time, the date on your iDevice. I'm going to be go right now under the settings to show you guys and share with you guys how you can set that on your iDevice. Okay, so under the settings here, as you guys can see, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and then after that the section here, so you can simply just stop on it and then you can write down the date, uh, the month, the year, and the way you like, you can customize that and after you finish from everything, you can just is simply to uh, respring your device and then you can apply all the settings that you set on your right device. After you finishing from everything, that is going to be allow you to set the time uh, the way you like on your status bar, just like so. This is what is that week is going to be providing you with. If you like that kind of stuff, to set it on your iDevice, advanced status time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel for more videos. And I see you guys in next video. Peace.